Okay, so um, this is Adversane Lane on uh, Wednesday morning and we're expecting Stephen Sanderson here. We are indeed. Um, you have come down to give us some support today. Would you mind just saying who you are? Yeah, my name's Heather Barry. Um, I was the Green Party candidate in the general election last week. Okay. Um, so, and I found out about this, there was a meeting last night locally in Chichester. Uh, the Green Party and the transition group got together. Um, Nicola came down to speak, so we kind of find out that this was going on. Um, so I've just come to lend my support um, and see what we can do. So you're from Chichester? I live in Chichester and, and I have a business in Arundel. The Green Party are definitely the only party really that, that are banning fracking or any oil or any, any, any oil, further oil and gas exploration, absolutely. Um, and although some of the uh, parties doing um, sort of hustings and various conversations seem to kind of really say, oh, we're doing this for the environment, that for the environment. But actually, when you read their manifestos, or now that we're post-election, yeah. actually all of that seems to have suddenly gone by the wayside. They, they've seen what they think are benefits in America. So they have said that in order to you know, continue to develop that in this country, that they are prepared to change the planning laws to enable that to happen. So basically it doesn't matter what you voted for or what they said before, they have left a, a nice little back door to allow these things to go through. Could you make any comparisons other than what they're saying between the USA and what might happen? Oh, I, I, I think, you know, I think we only have to, you know, I, I don't want Sussex to look like Texas. I think is kind of the bottom line. Um, and I think that that is, is possible. And I don't, I don't know, but there's, there's this thing of, of, you know, the deals that are going to be done post-Brexit. There seems to be a lot of talk about the things that we're going to be doing with America. And if we look at who's in charge in America, and we look at, you know, both the NHS um, and the oil and gas industry, well, those are ripe for investment from, you know, for deals to be done. Um, and there seems to be no opposition within government. I mean, they, they certainly, they're all for this. So, uh, yeah, I think it's up to people to start talking. People need to know what's going on. And I think we've been completely in the dark. Some people are talking about maybe Caroline Lucas taking a job in the shadow cabinet. How would you feel about that? I think that would be fantastic. Um, but wouldn't it be even better if she was actually in the cabinet? That would be, that would be one better than that. So, of course, yeah. Obviously, talks are going on. I, I, what's going on at the moment, the sort of the, the, the chaos that we have is, is I'm, I'm scared. You know? I, I look at all the potential that, you know, there's so much potential in this country um, and I don't want us to be isolated from Europe. I think that's, you know, and all the environmental controls that came with being part of the EU seem to be just being torn up. Do you think that, um, that there are within even the Conservative Party people who feel the same way? I think there are there are some people. I think there'll always be, and I think that's why it's so important. You know, the fact that we've got Caroline in Parliament. I think if because it's very much her primary concern, the fact that she stands up and is counted, all the people who have sympathies kind of come on board, and that is how change does happen. However, she is she's one voice. Giving us your name first, Joe Pryor. Joe Pryor, and where have we heard that name before? Uh, I stood um, in the general election for the Arundel and South Downs constituency for the Green Party. I feel very concerned about the environment, particularly with relation to oil drilling, yeah. um, because the Conservative manifesto, of course, included changes to the regulation of oil drilling, um, wanting to make exploratory wells permitted development. And I think if the Conservatives do succeed in um, forming an alliance with the DUP, we should all be very, very concerned. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about uh, Michael Gove being put into an environment job? I think it's an absolute disaster. I can't think of anyone less qualified for the job. He wanted to remove climate change from the syllabus when he was uh, the Secretary of State for Education. Um, and I think it's something that we should be very concerned about. Uh, we're here to campaign against the oil drilling that's going on at Adversane Lane right now. Um, we're very concerned about it for two reasons. We're, we're concerned about the method, which we believe is unconventional 
oil extraction. Um, we're concerned about the use of acids in the ground um, and the fact that that isn't really being properly regulated and hasn't been subject to proper public scrutiny. But we're also concerned generally about oil exploration, climate change and meeting our legally binding targets under the Paris Climate Agreement.